I was an elementary school teacher. Uh, a lot of, a lot of balls to juggle, a lot of hats to wear. But it was a, it was a very stressful job, and I didn't find a lot of job satisfaction in the career. So, I actually came to the point where just teaching was no longer what I wanted to do. So I really sat down and looked at it and said, well, what do I need out of a new job then? What, what new career do I want? Uh, I wrote down a bunch of criteria. I, I couldn't take too long to train because I was the sole income for my family. Uh, I needed something that I could pretty much get into right away. And I obviously wanted something that had decent job security. So uh, when I combined that with the fact that I do love to drive and love just hours of solitude and hours of being able to let the brain wander, trucking seemed to be an excellent fit. I've seen every corner of the continent and it's just amazing. It's beautiful everywhere. Don't get me wrong, some of it can be boring, some of it can be routine, but then you're always in a new environment within the day or within the next day, and it's just, it's great. The diversity is amazing. Bison was actually the only company that I applied for. Uh, when I first decided I wanted to be a trucker and uh, go and get my license in Calgary, I looked at the companies in Canada that had the reputation and the only one that really stood out with anybody I chatted to, anything I looked at online was Bison uh, for company culture, safety record, job satisfaction from the people that were currently in that industry. It just, Bison, like I said, was the only one that I was interested in. When I gave them a shout, I found out that they actually had a training program and they could help me out with my backing up and put me in a truck with an in-cab instructor for weeks. It was a no-brainer. Bison's approach, to see, it, it's all-encompassing. It, it's, it's in everything you do, getting in and out of the trucks and trailers. Uh, the equipment is in the shop constantly. There's service A, service B's. Everything has monthly checkups or, or you know, semi-monthly checkups. Uh, if we are not comfortable driving the truck in any weather, we're given the authority. The actual, we actually have the responsibility to pull over and, and discontinue our trip because the load is secondary to the safety of the driver and everybody else that we're sharing the road with. So, I mean, like I said, it's it's all encompassing. It's everywhere. Literally every single person I talk to is 100% completely supportive. Um, if I phone in with something wrong with the truck, immediately I'm sent to the shop. The shop is taking care of me. The shop is calling me sir. Uh, the shop is telling me how quickly they can get it in and out of there. When I phone in and I'm, I'm stressed out, because let's face it, as a driver, you get into situations where you're stressed out. You're phoning, you're not in the most positive of moods. The dispatchers, fleet managers, no matter who I talk to, they're very supportive, they're understanding, they, they take whatever I'm giving them and uh, they're doing it with a smiling face and, and just want me to feel okay and get out of that situation as best I can. You know, even even as sad of a moment as it was for me when my father passed, he, uh, he, he fell one day. I was just about ready to start my trip. I was just five minutes away from heading out the door to go and take my load to California and he fell. And I got the phone call and immediately it was like, you give us a call when you're ready to go. It wasn't for three weeks, but immediately it was like, you do what you need to do and feel, feel right and get into yourself in the right mindset to drive and, and we'll be here for you when you do. One of the things I love to do, as cliche as it sounds, is, is, is to write. I'd love to be a published writer one day. I'm currently writing a novel. Um, but. One of the things I actually thought was cool, I, I go to, uh, in Calgary it's called Jubilations, here it's called Celebrations, but it's a dinner theater. I'm a constant patron of there, and I thought it would be cool to write a play for that company. So I phoned the uh, general manager up one day and said, if I, I've got an idea. If I write this play, will you read it? And he says, absolutely. So I'd been there enough that I, I kind of knew what was required of, of the writing portion. Uh, it took me about, Probably a hundred cumulative hours of uh, just, just driving down the road, brainstorming in the head, letting the sort of plot form. And uh, actually over the course of one reset, I finished the second half. I submitted it off to him and he actually accepted it and bought it. And uh, later uh, in 2021, it's going to be uh, 
a produced play and it's going to be playing and showing at uh, Jubilations in Calgary and Edmonton and then here in Winnipeg uh, at Celebrations. So I thought that was a very cool and uh, interesting thing. I'm, I'm now a published playwright. I'm one of these types of people too, right? I, I, I like to find that one place where I feel at home that's a home away from home and that's where I'll stay. Like I said earlier, I, uh, I, I sought Bison out as the company I wanted to work for and I'm going to stay here until the day I retire.